Hello, Los Angeles. It is your main man for the ones and twos, Donnie Danko. And I want to thank y'all for joining me on another episode of the 420 Podcast. Yeah, we are reviewing a lot of your letters and we are going to get back to y'all. We love y'all recommendation on what type of strains to try out. I've been working on a few different projects myself. Um, you know, the book is going to be coming out possibly third quarter of 2024. You know, a uh, lot of things, a lot of things on the pipeline for your boy, Donnie Danko. Also, you know, I'm getting my DJing on. So, we're going to see where that goes because I really want to come to all these big shows and play for y'all the music that I grew up on and the music that y'all grew up on. And your children going to grow up too. Yeah, Donnie Danko in the house. I'm going to talk about a special topic today. It's about being a problematic individual in your life, you know. Life is un, unexpected, you know. You never know where one thing can lead to multiple dimensions or alternative variants of your life. Yeah, it's kind of like the MCU. You know, it really is. Because one thing, one path that you chose to take without really considering it or thinking about at that current moment can open a completely different timeline for you. A timeline that might not be favorable to you know your future. Obviously, it's your your, your success. So that's what I want to say. Is like you know, young people out there, we gotta be cognizant of the moment and understand how one little you know shift in the in, in what you do. At that current moment can change your entire trajectory of life. And sometimes, you know, some things are just meant to be. You know, it don't matter. You know, some people are just destined for uh, greatness. And some people are just destined for failure. That's just how the cookie crumbles, you know. Uh, But for most, I think we all have a choice. And those choices are very important. The choices we make, you better make them right. Right. You know, when you go to a party and everybody turning up and, you know, um, you smoking the weed, you smoking that ganja, you good, you good, you staying level-headed. But then there's this other group right here that might be like, you know, partaking in the, um, the white girl. And they like... Hey, hey, nephew, come over here and, you know what I'm saying, get you a line or something. Get right. Right there is a moment where you got to think, hmm, should I go there and partake in this white girl? Or should I stay here and keep smoking on this motherfucking Bob Marley? The ganja. Right? You know, you made that decision. If you smoke the ganja... You probably would just go to Jack in the Box at the end of the night and uh, you'll order yourself one of them uh, horrible, uh, nasty ass munchy meals. Them shits is trash. Ah, I don't fuck with them no more. But that's another story. Or if you decided, okay, you know what? Let me partake in this white girl, something that you've never done. You know? Boom. Changes up your story arc, your trajectory. Now you're breaking bad. Now you have gone through the alternative variant timeline of your personal MCU. Okay? You do the white girl, you do it 
get one line, you're like, I don't feel it. They're like, okay. They give you another one, I don't feel it. Now they're like, well, homie, we ain't going to give you more because that going to cost a fee. Now you, you know, you trying to get some money, whatever. You know, you don't got no money, so, you know, you go into your, uh, uh, you go into your parents' uh, bank account, online portal or something like that. You pull out like $40, knowing that your mama ain't even got the money. And she got credit cards going off in the morning on Monday, right? And then you buy the Coke or the white girl, about my bad, yeah. You get it. You don't even know how to do it. But you try and you do multiple lines and finally you feel something and you're like, oh, wow. And then the whole night, all you're thinking about is bad bitches. And why you just, you know, laying there in your bed like, damn, man, I wish I had a bad bitch to fuck. You know what I'm saying? And boom, there it goes the start of a fully blown cocaine and stimulant addiction that really didn't need to be followed through or focused on. It just happened because of that moment when you decided, let me go this direction instead of this, the right direction, which was smoking on that Bob Marley. You went, I'm going to go and fuck with that Britney Spears shit and then be lonely as fuck and be depressed and hopeless and upset that I can't get out of it. I don't even know why I keep pulling this shit in my motherfucking nose. I really don't know. It just happens. And where the hell is all my money going? You feel me? And boom, boom, boom. That's the light. That's that cycle. That's that self-destructive cycle that a lot of young people do it in America and globally. So, yeah. I, I didn't want to, uh, you know, start off with something so heavy, but I think I need to. I think I need to because I have people, I have family members and loved ones that are dealing with substance abuse, alcohol addiction, problem gambling, uh, prescription pill popping, um, syrup drinking, um, fast driving, fucking hoes. All of that, you know, uh, sex addiction, uh, all sorts of different types of uh, issues. And I just want to uh, uh, sh- send y'all a reminder that, you know, if you do believe in God, just believe in him. Believe in him and hope. Hope and no, not only hope, but go for it. Do the thing that necessary to make you the better version of yourself because you know within yourself is that person. Okay? Change the narrative. Change the trajectory of your life. And you will be. You will be redeemed once again. You will redeem yourself in the eyes of your fellow man and your family members. And God. If you choose to believe in the God, the high power, almighty. Yeah. All I do is smoke that ganja is Donnie Danko in the house. All right. So what we doing? We are on the tail end of July. This motherfucking summer done went so fast. It feel like summer. Feel like summer. Right? That was one of my favorite songs when it comes to summertime. Shout out to Childish Gambino, Donald Glover. He doing his thing, man. For real. But what y'all listening to out here? You know what I'm saying? Uh, young people, I want to know what y'all listening to out here. I want to get some motherfucking collars on the motherfucking line. And we want to know what the fuck y'all listening to right now. All right? Let's get some collars. Collar number one. You on the line with Donnie Danko. The 420 Podcast. Y'all want to talk about some music? What y'all listening to? And what's your name? Yeah, hello. Yeah, yeah, this is Kermit. This is Kermit from Westside LB, LBC. Uh-huh. You know, what I listen to right now, 
you already know is that NBA young boy. Yeah. I listen a little bit of Dirk too. A little bit of Dirk, you know. But NBA young boy, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, I see. I see the post when NBA young boy um is real strong in America. I know a lot of people fucking with his movement. And um, yeah, man. I gotta check check out some of his new shit. I know there's a few things that I like from him. But you know, I like that old school gangster shit. You know, from the 90s, the golden era of hip hop. I'm talking about, you know, we don't even gotta go there. I'm just talking about Tupac. Okay, let's go to the next motherfucking caller. Who we got on the motherfucking line? Yeah, hello? Yeah, this Shaniqua. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I'm just listening to, um, you know, Shoddy Red. Uh, I, I'm not familiar with, 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 with who that is, but, uh, okay. Um, yeah, and I'm, and I'm also listening to Ice Spice, like, you know, the deluxe album. You know, okay, yeah. Yeah, Ice Spice, yeah. That girl, that girl doing her thing, too. Sure, they doing a the thing. All right. All right, let's get to the next caller. Yeah, hello? Hi. This is Chester from Canton, Ohio. And uh, I just want to shout out, you know, my girlfriend. You know, she got me into hip-hop. But now I'm a big-time hip-hop head. And I, right now, I'm listening to that Nas. That Nas, that... Magic 2. Oh my god. Fantastic album from Escobar. Godson. Godson across the belly. One mic. Coming back. Kings Disciple. Street Kings. Kings Disease. I mean, that man can rap his ass off and he has the classics to prove it. Okay, so Magic 2. Produced by Hit Boy. This one's fantastic. Listen, you guys gotta listen to it. Okay. I hear y'all. I, yeah, I, I've been meaning to check out that new Nas too. I seen he dropped. Nas been dropping so frequently, it's been real difficult to keep track of everything he been doing. He been very productive. Very productive. Then, you know, because Nas been around since I was a youngster. You know, I was a little baby and shit. So Nas really doing his thing, and I love it because Nas is one of my favorite rappers growing up as well. He has influenced me to do what I do, um, you know, when it comes to music and everything like that. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to check out Godson when I get the chance. Thank y'all. Thank y'all callers today for chiming in on what y'all listening to. We always want to know where the post is in America and what type of music is the young people getting down to. All right. Now we're going to talk about some, um, you know, some current event shit that's been going on. Life has been going, you know, moving in the pace that it's supposed to. But, you know, this recession, the looming recession, you know, this is the, this is the, this is the bullshit before the recession, man. And it's already fucked up. Motherfuckers is losing their jobs daily. Motherfuckers can't get no jobs. Shit. No, man. It, it, it really is tough. I don't know what the fuck gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Especially with this uh, Russian, Ukraine bullshit that's been going off. That shit fucked up the entire economy, man. For real. You know, stock market is fucking not, not coming back, you know? Man, stock market was just booming just three years ago. Even through the pandemic, booming. But now, just, you know, just falling on his ass. You know? Um, it feel like, it feel like America gonna have to jump into this war. Like, it feel, it's, it's starting to feel like that. You know, um, you know, they gave them the miss, they, they gave them uh, some of them, you know, the artillery that Ukraine needed. But Russia has been on offensive and they've been just striking them, striking them down. Ukraine, Ukraine needs help. You know, it definitely needs help. So I, I feel like America 
at some point going to have to jump up in there. And if that happens, then, you know, like a lot of the other NATO nations also might have to do that. And then what the, what is that? What does that spell? That's World War Three. We thought it wasn't going to happen, but shit could happen by 2024. For real. Um, so, yeah. I hope not, though, because, you know, I am a peace-loving, kind of smoking, happy motherfucker, y'all. And I don't like warfare, not one bit. Only people that get rich doing warfare is the gun runners. The illegal gun runners, the legitimate gun runners, and um, that's it, really. And the country might get some money, but America is going to take a shit again if we go to war. So, please, let's not keep the, let's not, man. We got to wrap this shit up, for real. This whole Ukraine and Russia bullshit, because people are tired of this. We ain't a, you know, this, this is the 20, 20, 20 20, 21st century, we don't need no motherfucking warfare. Let's all live in peace and harmony and smoke some fucking weed. You did? Shit. Ukraine hits Crimea. Ammunition dumps, sparking evacuation, disrupting transports. Fuck. They got hot water pipe burst in Moscow, shopping center, killing four people. Patrons set fire to bar after being kicked out for killing... 11 people on the Mexico border city. What oh, damn body. Greece heat wave likely to become the longest country that has ever recorded. Greece is eating the fuck up. Where is the gods when you see that? Come on, Zeus. Come down from Mount Olympus. Come down from Mount Olympus. Get Poseidon on the fucking phone. And... Cool that motherfucking nation down a little bit. It's getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here. Take off all your clothes. Uh, Malaysia House Music Festival after same sex kiss by the 1975 singer. Okay. Look. Look at, let everybody just get cool with cool with all that shit. Can we can we stop all that? You know what I'm saying? It is 2023, y'all. Israel is the Israelis rally ahead of a critical vote to weaken the power of the courts. So Israel doing they, you know, democratic shit out there. Um, what else going on in America and globally? Mexico's president is on the attack. He is on the attack, um, possibly to win re-election. Um, and then what else? Yeah, in India. The Manipur state amid ethnic violence out there. Shocking videos of sexual assault from all those motherfuckers out there. There's so many motherfuckers all look the same, doing all sorts of scandalous shit. Y'all crazy like, y'all crazy. But anyway, uh, what else? Netanyahu isn't backing down from no judicial overhaul despite pressure from Joe Biden. You know, Netanyahu. I'm not a fan of that man at one bit. Not one bit. Uh Uh-uh. Okay. And uh, child survivors of the deadly quake have left traumatized. Okay. Yes. Earthquakes are happening. And it will continue to be happening. Especially as, you know, the earth starts heating up every summer. That's just the way it is. So we got to be ready. All y'all, my Los Angelinos out there, y'all keep that medical kit, that earthquake kit ready. Keep your keys where you can see them. Don't have no bullshit on the floor. Because you never know when an earthquake going to strike. And you better be ready to dip the fuck out. Make sure your pets is in sight as well. Because you don't want to leave with your, without your pets. You know that. You got to run up run up out there with them too. So, you know, we always got to be ready for earthquakes. I know that one recently just hit. Uh, and where was that? I don't want to miss. I don't want to miss misreport, misquote anything, cause I, cause I've been. They've been telling me that I do that a lot, so I won't. Okay, but uh, we should definitely be ready for any type of seismic, uh, you know, seismic shakedown, cause this is Los Angeles. It's the San Andreas fault. We right there, baby, but I ain't. Seen one and I ain't heard about one that really fucked with me 
since the Northridge quake. And that shit was scary as hell. I wouldn't mind, you know, feeling a little bit of rumble. But nothing to fuck up any type of people's possessions or their lifestyle, you dig? Uh Uh-uh. We don't want the shit that South Florida keep experiencing like every year. We don't want something like that. Like California's... You know, the sunshine, we're not a sunshine state, the golden state, but we've been lucky from any type of cataclysmic catastrophes, and we want to keep it like that, right? We want to keep being out here, drive our low riders, smoke our good weed, and fuck our bad bitches, you know what I'm talking about? Amen. Yeah, shouts out to my Dodgers doing the thing, you know, leading. In the National League, um, you know, we do we have a good record, and I think, uh, you know, we got what it takes this year. I'm going to say it right now. The Dodgers, you know what I'm saying, World Series champions once again in 2023. In 2023, y'all. Let's go, Dodgers. You know, that's all I got for sports, man, you know, because um, really ain't nothing really popping. Except for, I mean, free agency, you know, with the NBA, that's that's going on. And, uh, you know, there's some possible movement. But none none that, you know, we we, could, we couldn't predict. None with my Lakers. You know, Lakers, um, I don't know what the hell they, they plan on doing. I know they're going to run it back. But I think we still need a little bit more firepower. We really do. Um, But, yeah, I'm excited about the Lakers again. On uh, Clippers, I know Clippers try and do some things. Um, it doesn't seem like Harden is going to go to the Clippers no more. Um, we'll see what happens with the Clippers. I know Steve Ballmer is really, you know, he getting ready because you know the new, the new, the new center, the Intuit Dome. That yeah, that shit is like, I'd probably say it's like seventy five percent done. You know. Because, you know, Donnie Danko be at the Hollywood Park Casino all the time. So, y'all, step by and say what's up to Donnie Danko. I'll be in the house doing my thing, thing. Yeah. But, yeah, we see it from across the street. Every time I would drive out there, I see it. Like, wow, it's going to be really nice to go up in there. It's going to be really nice for all you young people to work over there. You know, that's going to bring a lot more employment to the city. And it's gonna liven up that area. That that area is lit up right now in Los Angeles. That that might be the most lit place you could be is Inglewood, California, the city of the champions. Yeah. Inglewood, California, make some motherfucking noise for your damn selves one time, baby. Okay. Alright. Well, we're gonna talk about some film. Let's talk about some films that's being released currently in America. What we got out there. What we got out there, uh, okay, you know, um, I know, uh, you know, this weekend, I think, uh, the Barbie film just came out, you know, so, that's, uh, for all you young women that played with Barbies when you was growing up, that's, that's y'all thing, go watch that film, support, support the, uh, the film industry, cause it's been, it's been taking a lot of shit ever since the pandemic, and even before that, you know, we want to keep that culture alive and alive in America, you know. So we got to start going to more and more showings of films and just support. Because it's dying. That, that economy is slowly, slowly shrinking. We're not gonna, you're not going to get that entertainment if you don't show support. You know what I'm saying? It's, that's how it is. Everything has to be uh, uh, interconnected, you know. Everything needs to be interconnected to survive and thrive. So go check that out. Barbie film. Shouts out to Mattel for doing that. Um, what else we got? I don't know. Fear the Night. Don't know nothing about that. Don't care. Uh, Happiness for Beginners coming out on Netflix. I don't know about that. I know that um, Oppenheimer. Now, now, that's going to be a good one right there, Oppenheimer. You know, that's coming out July 21st. That's got a good, um, 
I know it's got a good cast. I just watched the trailer not too long ago. Cillian Murphy. Got Matt Damon in that motherfucker. They got, um, who else? They got, they, they, it's a standout cast, man, for real. So I definitely want to watch that. I think that's about, you know, the, the, the constructing of the atomic bomb during the Cold War. You want to watch that. That's a good one. Um, oh, yeah, the Stephen Curry documentary, Underrated, also dropped today. So y'all go check that out. Stephen Curry, the greatest motherfucking shooter of all time in the NBA, greatest three-point shooter, and by far one of the most entertaining and fun players to watch, man. I, I Growing up, I saw Irvin Magic Johnson, Isaiah Thomas, Michael Jordan, Hakeem Olajuwon, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, Tim Duncan, um, obviously LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, Dwayne Wade, and now you can see Steph Curry. Man, I've been blessed. Basketball guards have thanked us. We got so many incredible, incredible basketball players. We're going to be lit for forever. But yeah, go check that out. Stephen Curry, underrated. You know, you want to know about that man's life, that man's story, because he got a story to tell, and he is one of the greatest. Okay? All right, now... That's it. That's it for today, y'all, because, you know, we touched on a lot of important subjects, especially in the beginning, in the opening. Um, you know, I talked about something real. You always always keep that in mind. Always make sure that when you make a decision, you know, you all about it. Don't make people, don't let other people influence your decisions. That's one of the biggest things. That's something that I even have to deal with, you know, even though I know I'm like, fully, fully focused on what I want to do and what I want to achieve, but it does happen from time to time, so that's why I say, young people, don't let don't let nobody influence your choices, the choices you make, don't let anybody influence it. You make it, and you live by it, and you die by it, and you stand by it. You, you know what I'm saying? That way you can't have nobody to blame. Don't blame nobody for your motherfucking decisions. If you made a mistake, live for it. Right? That's what I'm saying. So I just want the young people to, you know, understand that idea of, uh, you know, the choices we make is going to, you know, reverberate for your future. So you got to be smart and don't let other people influence you. You know, I say that because, you know, when I be at the uh, blackjack table, you know, pulling, bend. And playing my game. And I know how to play blackjack. Motherfuckers acting like I don't. Up, man, I know how to play that shit to a T. But I hate it when motherfuckers be like, stay, stay, and hit. You know what I mean? Like, no, no. Let me play my game. Shut the fuck up. It's my money. All right? I know how to play the game. I know the rules. But sometimes you got to go with your gut instinct. Right? And your gut will get you a win instead of an L. So you got to go with your gut. You got to play your game. Don't let these motherfuckers influence you on your game. You play that damn thing to T. You play that shit how you want to play. And you live by the decisions and consequences, motherfucker. You dig? All right. So anyway, that's all. That's all for today. I want to thank all my listeners for tuning in to the 420 Podcast. This is episode 5. And we are trying to get something, you know, something ironed out. Uh, we can start being on all the major platforms with the 420 Podcast. Because I feel like we are deserving of it. We are putting out a quality product anytime we feel like. But, you know, I also don't want motherfuckers telling me what the fuck to do. So, I'm going to just do me. Yeah. Peace out, L.A. Peace out, the world. It is your boy, Donnie Danko, and this is the 420 Podcast. Sign up.